This magazine right here with this beautiful Swede on the cover is the 2018 NHL Draft Preview Hockey News Edition of the magazine. Now, this magazine has all the previews for the 2018 draft. The Darlene's, the Svechnikov's, the Zadina's, the Hughes, and the Bokefists. This magazine has it all. But... What this magazine also has is a little preview for the 2019 NHL Entry Draft. Now, the only problem is this magazine was published in May of 2018, so the rankings of their 2019 draft were severely outdated by the time the real 2019 draft came and went. But, because we're in quarantine, because we're trapped at home, I thought it would be a fun idea to take a look at these 2018 draft rankings for the 2019 draft and match them up with what the real 2019 draft order ended up being. What is up, viewer out there watching this video? Arcs back here. Today, we're doing the 2019 redraft with... 2018 draft rankings. This is the dumbest video idea I have ever had, but at the same time, I thought it would be pretty fun. So, without further ado, let's get things started with the first overall pick. This one belonged to the New Jersey Devils. In real life, they selected Jack Hughes. From the 2018 draft rankings point of view, the Devils are still selecting Jack Hughes. He was a guy that was projected to go first overall for the better part of over a year, so it's not surprising to see him still in this spot. Nothing changes from real life. Hughes goes one in real life, Hughes goes one in the simulation. Let's move on to number two, where things get really interesting. With the second overall pick, the New York Rangers chose in real life Capo Caco, a guy who rose to prominence from obscurity and solidified himself as a top two prospect in the draft. With the 2018 draft rankings, though, Capo Caco is not going second. Instead, it's Alex Newhook out of the BCHL's Victoria Grizzlies. In real life, Newhook went all the way down there at 16th, but the draft rankings leading up into the 2018-19 season had Newhook as a top prospect, and the New York Rangers selecting Newhook second overall would not have been a surprise from this perspective. This is because Newhook was so good in the BCHL in his draft minus one that everybody was talking about him as a potential top pick. Now, going on to number three. In real life, the Chicago Blackhawks selected Kirby Doc third overall. With the 2018 draft rankings, the Chicago Blackhawks select third overall, Kirby Doc. This one was actually correct, and it wasn't correct for the reasons that you may think. It was actually kind of a cop-out, because Kirby Doc was third overall in the minds of some people at the beginning of the season, but Doc had a really, really bad scoreless streak going through December and starting off 2019. It was really bad, and as a result, people started dropping him down the draft rankings. However, some people saw the potential in Doc, and Doc actually rose up the stocks towards the end of the draft season, meaning that he started off the season third overall, he dropped to about 9, 10, some people even had him in the teens, and then he eventually went back to third. It was a really big roller coaster of a draft stock for this one player, but he went third overall in real life, and this is where he was projected to go a year before that. With the fourth overall pick, the Colorado Avalanche initially selected Bowen Byram, but with the 2018 draft rankings, instead, they're selecting fellow WHLer Peyton Krebs. Krebs dropped all the way down to 17. He was slowed down by some injuries. He wasn't able to walk onto the draft stage properly, and that really did slow him down. But Krebs is a hardworking guy who played on one of the worst teams in the WHL last year and still managed to put up some pretty good numbers. The Colorado Avalanche are getting a guy here who honestly does have some pretty elite potential in the NHL, and he's been touted to having that potential for a long time now, which is why he was fourth overall in these draft rankings in 2018. 
with the fifth overall draft pick the Los Angeles Kings initially selected Alex Turcotte. Instead, they are selecting from the Barry Colts of the OHL, Ryan Suzuki, who in real life dropped to 28th overall to the Carolina Hurricanes. A year before that, Suzuki was a very highly touted prospect. It's really interesting because this is one of the biggest drops from the Hockey News 2018 draft rankings to the 2019 draft in this entire selection. It's not the biggest drop, but it's the second highest drop. But Suzuki is a guy who legitimately does have some good, strong offensive potential, but in the real-life draft, some people saw other players that they just valued a little bit more highly. As a result, Suzuki went at the end of the first round, rather than the top five. With the sixth overall draft pick, the Detroit Red Wings initially selected Moritz Sider. However, in this simulation, they are selecting from the TPS Turku, Capo Caco. Yes, this is what I mean. Capo Caco initially was supposed to be in this range, 5 to 7. But in real life, he was so good in the Liga that he forced his way into that top 2 and he just knocked the door down. He went second overall in real life, but a year before that, some people had him going as low as number six. If the Detroit Red Wings selected Capo Caco sixth overall in real life, that would have been a steal of the draft, and Red Wings fans would have absolutely been gifted with a first-year player like Capo Caco. Now, obviously, he was bad with New York, especially compared to what people thought he would be, but... If he goes over to Detroit and he's given a bigger role than he was in New York and he gives a little bit more effort out there, I think he has a really, really good draft plus one year in the NHL with the Red Wings. The seventh overall pick belongs to the Buffalo Sabres. In real life, they chose Dylan Cousins out of the Lethbridge Hurricanes. In this simulation, they are taking Cam York from the US NTDP, a guy who dropped to 14th overall in real life, which is where a lot of people kind of projected him to go. People didn't really see Cam York as a top 10 prospect once the draft came around, but because the US NTDP was so stacked back then, Cam York was a legitimate top 10 candidate in the eyes of the Hockey News at the end of the 2018 season. He's a really good defenseman, just wrapped up his first year with the Michigan Wolverines in the NCAA, was pretty okay over there if I do say so myself, but Cam York is a guy who to me does boast some pretty good potential as a top-end NHL defenseman. The 8th overall pick belongs to the Edmonton Oilers. In real life, they chose Philip Broberg, a guy who they really didn't see going this high back then because Broberg made his draft stock worthy at the Hlinka Gretzky tournament just a few months after this magazine was published. In this mock draft, the Edmonton Oilers instead are taking Raphael Lavoie, who was actually selected by Edmonton in the second round 38th overall. So 30 picks after the Oilers had this one. Interesting. It's really interesting how things wrap around. Lavoie was a guy who a lot of people thought was really, really highly touted at the beginning of the draft year. But as the year went on, it wasn't really that Lavoie was poor. He was actually pretty good. It's just a lot of other players started to show off more than what Lavoie showed off. Lavoie wasn't bad by any means, other players were just better, and as a result, he dropped to the second round in a position where the Edmonton Oilers were able to take him. Now, it's funny how it aligns that he was going to be taken first round by the Oilers in this mock draft, and in real life he was taken in the second round, but of course, you have those weird coincidences once in a while. The ninth overall pick belongs to the Anaheim Ducks. Initially, they selected from the US NTDP Trevor Zegras. In this mock draft, they're selecting from the US NTDP Alex Turcotte, the guy who initially went fifth overall. He is the only player in this mock draft, aside from Capo Caco, to be selected higher in real life than where he was projected to be in this magazine. Turcotte just absolutely destroyed Worlds, and he was injured for a good part of the year, which made a lot of people kind of doubtful in where he was going to go. But once he came back to the US NTDP, he was so good that he just rose up the draft stocks like crazy and ended up going fifth overall to Los Angeles. 
Last up here is the 10th overall pick. The Vancouver Canucks initially selected Vasily Podkolzin with this pick, but from the thumbnail you already know, the Hockey News had Cole Caulfield going 10th overall. A guy who, if we read the little bio, says, is super small, but impossible to pin down. Great skill and vision. Now this is before Cole Caulfield tied Ovechkin's U18 goal record. This is before he broke Matthews' goal record at the US NTTP. Caulfield was a legitimate top 10 prospect up until the draft. Many people thought he could have gone top 10, but because he is small, he ended up dropping the 15, taken by the Montreal Canadiens, and all is said and done. So this is what we have as our mock draft right here. It's a very weird idea, I know, but I thought it would be really interesting to entertain. I hope you enjoyed this video, social media trolls 99, and bye. <laughs>